Hello everyone, Dave Horda, Father Ash, and today we're on part two, that is four, part two of our resources playlist here on YouTube. So today we are going to talk about Irish language radio. And yes, I know that I was saying that we were talking, focusing on stuff online, but the good thing is, is that everything, every one of these stations are online. You can listen live online. So you do not have to have a physical radio for this, which is wonderful. So obviously we're going to start off with the most famous of all the Irish language radio stations, Radio Nagoya because that is the biggest one which caters to pretty much the entire Gwelta community. So it's super important for those communities and it's really, really useful for those learning the Irish language, particularly if you want to hear a variety of accents and want to hear a high standard of Irish lesh. So the three Kiamkaruna, the Radio Nagwelta in Erin. So Radio Nagwelta has three main headquarters in Ireland. It has one Igunti Nagalive, uh, one in Guidor, and the third one is in off Danganikush in Gunte Kiri. So it really does cater to that particular community. And what's wonderful is you are going to hear such a variety of accents and dialects if you listen to it. One thing I would highly recommend you do is listen to the death notices, which sounds very morbid, <laughs> but it's not. Trust me on this one. The reason I, I'm, I'm, I suggest that you use those in particular uh, is because the debt notices have a particular formula to them. You basically have the announcement of the names, uh, how they, when they died, how they died, the details of the funeral, and also the place names, the Loganamka in the Irish language. So it really gets your ear attuned to all of these ideas and concepts, but in a, a formulaic approach. So I think it makes it much, much easier. Plus you discover all these beautiful place names that you mightn't have heard of had you not been listening to the debt notices. Apart from that, if that's not your thing, that's fair enough. Gradient in the World also caters, you know, it has the news, it has sport, it has music, it has politics, it pretty much has everything. It can be a bit daunting for learners who are not perhaps used to the speed at which Irish people tend to talk. <laughs> Just to put it nicely. So if you're not used to hearing people talk really quickly, and also if you're not used to particular accents, I would recommend you going to other radio stations just to get used to that to the sounds of the language. Okay, so if you're looking for something that isn't quite as I suppose intense, if this is in some respects as Radio Nagelta, you can look to other stations like Radio Nagelta, which broadcasts from Balochia, but that doesn't mean that it's just available in in Dublin you can actually listen online as I said all of these are available online isn't the internet wonderful <laughs> Radio Nalefa also has a big variety of speakers and shows and they cover many many subjects for everything from the usual sports politics Kjol uh, or and B and my favorite lately is Clor uh, Leola Darvanum Afra Era so it has a massive range there which is wonderful and like I said it I don't personally feel that it is as scary to jump into as Radio de Gueltuta because I, I find that a lot of times if a learner comes to me and they're saying oh you know I tried Radio de Gueltuta but it was just a bit too much that's okay that's totally okay you'll build yourself up to be able to listen to it gone in stroke so no be burha occur a bit start with Radio Nalifa and stay there because they're great and then you can continue on in your own time to Radio Nalifa. So as you continue on with your Irish language journey it is super important that you are constantly listening to new sounds and constantly listening to people speaking in the Irish language because that's the only way you're going to get used to the different accents. It really is. And you really have no excuse if everything is online <laughs> and you're watching this so you're clearly able to go online. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the next station I would like to talk to talk about is Radio Falta, which is based in Mail First, uh, in Bel in in Belfast. In Mail First, I was going to say in Mail First twice there. And again, if you are looking for if you have a particular grow for say Ulster Irish, this is the perfect place to go to because it will get you used to those sounds. Where I find that they speak just a bit faster than we do sometimes in Munster, although there are some parts in West Kerry that uh, gets very very fast <laughs> but it is a great Irish language station 
and I would highly recommend you tuning in again just to hear those different sounds so you can pick up all those extra notes and inflections that will help you on your journey. So the final radio station I'm going to talk about is Radio Rira and that is the station I used to work for a very very long time ago. <laughs> so it's Kartstashun Kjol a Radio Rira. It's a music station. Uh, plays 24 7 and you can listen online like I said so this one in particular is a very very easy transition to make from English language stations to Irish language stations because there's a big crossover in terms of the music a lot of it is in English because it's chart music and I find that it's super super accessible if you're trying to build up the, sta the stages to get to Radio Nuguelta. So I really think that with all these resources, you are in prime position to have those ears attuned to our beautiful language here in Erin. So salt as a Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. So non denigi dirud kunchinusus masaminlat. Uh, you can sign up here on YouTube if you'd like to see more videos and I will be adding to this Shra, this series very, very soon. So, Slunga Fool! <laughs>